There are places in Utah that I wouldn't believe are real if I hadn't seen them with my own eyes. Places that beg to be explored with like-minded adventurers. Places that look like they're from another world. This is the San Rafael Swell. My name is Sean, and this is the story till now. Morning, day two, EJS. We're gonna go out and get some breakfast before we get to the trail. Random person walking down the street. Just random people. What's up, man? How are you, buddy? Good. Good, good to, to see you, man. How was your drive? It was good. Yeah. It was good. Yeah. Will, what's hey, up, buddy? Good, good to see you, man. How are <laughs> you? Yeah, yeah, good to see you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is Curtis. Curtis. Hey, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, man. <laughs> and uh, Lance is somewhere. Lance I is... think he went to get us a table. Oh, good man. So, good man. So we're going to go hit uh, a trail out in the swell today, which is an hour and a bit away. How long do you think that drive was? How much gas did we use coming from Moab to this gas station? It was like maybe a 15 minute drive? About 20 bucks? It's an expensive cab fare. Yeah. <laughs> cab would be cheaper. I've run into fuel issues in this well before, so I'm making sure I'm well stocked for this run, as are the rest of the crew. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> what happened here, dude? It's a mercy duck. Wait a minute, I got it. Don't yeah. touch it. You got duck? Somebody touch it. <laughs> That's weird, man. I think we've got to go, we are, up here, we gotta get on the 24. Now mark the turn off here, and then the trail start. There's all sorts of trails back here, but this is the trail we're gonna try and do, the behind the reef trail. So, that's how we get to there. Found all this on Onyx Off Road. If you haven't tried Onyx Off Road, there's a link in the description, you can save 20% on the Elite membership, which will also give you discounts on uh, parts from companies that Onyx partners with, and uh, access to all these like look at all these trails on here in this area. We can just explore for, for days just what's on here. So yeah, check it out. And we're gonna go hit the trail. Put in photo mode. Uh, from Get Out Go, we did a collab uh, a while ago. And so I haven't watched. Don't bring a fuel canister, says Venture to Rome, <laughs> which I have that I can store on the outside of my vehicle. Oh, the last gas stop, gotta get a fuel canister. All they have is diesel. Spilled it in the new Raptor. Oh no. Oh, yeah. Kind of sticking up out of the ground, I guess. Yeah. Anyway, the, the point is we're going behind it and it's beautiful and uh, we're gonna go see what's out there. Easy, hard, medium. I'd say like easy to medium, but very scenic. Well, thanks for taking us out here, man. I can't wait. Well, thanks for coming out here with me, man. I can't wait to be out here with you. Oh! <laughs> so, so embarrassing. All right, so we're heading out behind the reef here. We're gonna get in behind these uh, mountains. Beautiful views out looking over the, the valleys behind us here. We got Brad from Trail Recon here. We got Will from Venture to Rome, and we got Lance in the Bronco Raptor. Good group of four rigs, and uh, we're just gonna have a fun day out exploring and seeing what we can find. Not sure if you guys heard that, but I just put the Raptor in off-road exhaust mode. Yeah, sorry, didn't hear him in. Yeah, sorry, mine's in that mode all the time. Brad? I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you over my magnet pull exhaust. There goes all your fuel. There's Sean's drone. Not crash because he's a good drone pilot. I killed for rattlesnake. Oh, yeah. So here's my poor little droney. Hey. Once you get going on this trail, it just opens right up to this whole other world like nothing I've ever seen before. We're going to be going to the left up here and then we're going to end up up on this ridge just under these big spiky rocks. Follow that up through the valley, which has been amazing. Hey Sean, if you have any experience with uh, this is it. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's been smoothed out a bit. <laughs> I recall like 
crawling over some boulders coming through here. So yeah, this is nothing. Shelf roads up above the valley are narrow, and they require some precision to navigate your way up top, where we'll be driving on the edge of the reef. She's a bit narrow. Oh, this place is fantastic. As we headed into the trail, it started getting very dark, like a storm was moving in on us. Dude, it's snowing. Crazy, where's it even come from? The clouds. I will take it. 64 degrees. Comfortable. So it just started uh, snowing slash hailing out here, even though it's like six or seven degrees, which is uh, making for some interesting scenery. Unexpected. After a long stretch of driving through awesomeness, we decided to stop for a snack break and just hang out for a bit. It's easy to get caught up in a trail sometimes and forget to just make time to enjoy the company you're with. Today on The Adventure. Hey, adventure seekers. <laughs> That's how I started out the video. It was so lame. <laughs> <laughs> that was going to be my tagline forever and then I watched it when I got home and I'm like, all right, well, I'll use it in this video, but I'm never doing that again. <laughs> My favorite part of this trail is like coming up that first rocky section that's it's really narrow. Yeah. And then when you come around the corner, it's just like... It's the, the whole, whole thing, thing was yeah. just jaw dropping yeah. so far. I, yeah. it, I think the best campsite I've ever seen. The good news is Curtis and I bought Mega Millions lotto tickets <laughs> and we're going to win $1.1 billion. Like the last time I came out here, I made a video and somebody was like, you didn't go all the way to the end and see the mine? I was already two. Where are we going now? Uh, we're gonna go uh, finish this trail. I don't know exactly how much further it is. Uh, I haven't been all the way to the end before, but it's supposed to be some mines or something at the end. So I think we're through like the rough part of it, but there's still lots to see. Road. I've been away for five.
far too long But now I'm on my way back home I hear the west winds calling I'm my name They're telling me to head your way Down your road and past your gates Keep your eyes on the horizon I was looking to belong when I'd already found my home Won't be long I'm there before the setting sun For you to fall into my arms The place I call my home I was looking to belong when I already found my home Cabin cistern. Cabin cistern. Wow. Engine parts. Look at the is that a heater? Ma maple flavored syrup. <laughs> <laughs> Old cans. Watch your nails. Yeah, they probably had holes all around this area. Yeah, I imagine they were probably dug a bunch of spots up. This is just a natural cave? There's like a wire hanging from the top though. Could have been used for something like a cook pot, or I don't know. But it's it could. Tell if it was like blasted out, or if it was. Yeah. We'll see a tailings pile here. Unless this is it up here. Twenty-two spline. <laughs> interesting. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's super interesting. Get in the driver's seat. <laughs> <laughs> There's not that much left of it. Still got a gas pedal. Here's the shifter. Man, I've never been anywhere where the landscape is just on an angle like that. Like, it's not flat. <laughs> it's, it's so crazy. That's the swell, the way the rocks all kind of got driven up from the volcanic activity, I think. Two things I didn't expect coming to Easter Jeep Safari. Empty trail and snow. That's so rad. There is something about the contrast between the blue sky and that red rock. Yeah, even when we were driving towards those dark clouds back there when it was snowing, they looked so cool. This was one of my favorite parts of the trail as we drove out onto a ridge with incredible views in every direction before descending down into a valley. Every corner we go around is amazing. Doesn't suck. Wow. Dude, I thought you said there was going to be some views on this trail. gone oh, just a little bit past the mine we came to a fork and continuing on the same trail for some reason it showed <laughs> showed that no uh, jeeps were allowed to go that way I'm not sure why it looked like a double track trail 
But regardless, we took the other fork that says uh, we can go this way. And now we're on kind of a loop that should loop us back around out towards the, the beginning of the trail. It's a nice change of uh, scenery. So let's see what we can see out here. So if we go left, uh, it looks like it's a loop. And if we go right, well, the right, the trail continues. And there's trails everywhere out here. took a wrong turn. I think we got to go back to the last fork because this looks like it dead ends up ahead. That's right. We found ourselves way out there on a trail that was turning out to be much longer than expected as we tried to make a loop back to the start. It was turning into a long day. Been driving this trail for quite a long time we ended up on this big long loop that was a lot longer than we expected but we're i mean the views up here are spectacular i have no idea where we are except way 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 above the swell If it wasn't windy, this would be like a great spot to just hang. Yeah, like other than that guy right there, I don't see anything above us. Well, in the distance. I wish I had my camping gear with me. I would totally stay out here tonight versus go back to the hotel. Hey Will, what's your range? 132 is my range. That's my two little uh, baby bottles of gas. Probably have more than that, it's probably just calculating. Yeah, the range becomes very unreliable once you're in off-road conditions. This trail got so crazy. I can't imagine anywhere else I'd rather be. This is a trail that I dream of right here. Come on, saw, turn the key and cool her on. This a pause for relief. Free pass, you don't even have to wait. Sun. 
like going from the ridge line down to the bottom of a wash. So awesome. Yeah, I love the diversity of this trail. This is a great trail. Yeah, it's even better now that it's a loop. Yeah, it's pretty tight, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you had about this much space on that back tire, on that, that boulder that's sticking that out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, kept, you kept wanting to go it was, passenger on it because it feels like you're going to hit your front, yeah, your exactly. front edge. Yeah, yeah it's, cool. after seeing him, I knew I had like two inches to spare. Yeah. It's okay, man. We got you. <laughs> we got you through. We got the Bronco through. <laughs> we started the long crawl out of this valley and back towards the trail we came in on as the sun started going down. if I get out and take uh, one picture. Yeah, as long as it's only one. Well, I'm going old school. I'm going to panorama it. Perfect weather. Well, kind of. It was like in and out, but it was warm. It was cold, and it was warm, and it was cold. Yeah nice yeah. the whole time it changed a lot which is so cool like no section of trail was the same as the yeah. previous one and the weather too just kept changing it's really cool yeah. they had a little bit of everything yeah i've done a lot of trails in utah and this is up there with like top five it's easy i mean this was yeah. an epic trail this was epic yeah i'm glad i got to come back here because i only did like like i said up into the cabin before and I missed out on the whole second oh, half, which yeah. is which is arguably the best part of the trail. 100%, yeah. Where we had the most. That fun, loop so. was fun. Yeah. Yeah. Good times. So I'm glad you guys came out and did this. Dude, with I'm so glad you suggested it. This was an amazing day. Seems like a good idea. It's a good day, Sean. Yeah. Well, we got more to do. Yeah. The week is young. Day two. EJ asked day one. Today's, today's day one. It's day two of our trip. Day three of our trip. Day. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, there's still lots more EJS stuff coming tomorrow. We're gonna go check out the concept jeeps and uh, have some fun. And uh, we're gonna go hit some more trails with Will. And uh, uh, I think Brad's leaving earlier in yeah, the week, so we're probably not hitting I any more trails get, together. I but a couple more days here and I gotta But go. I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, 100%. Make sure you subscribe to these guys, Trail Recon, Venture to Rome, and me, the story till now. See you in the next video. <laughs>